Hello and howdy there, folks. Last night, I saw Les Miserables, uh, and I enjoyed it. I never really planned uh, on seeing uh, Les Mis, but uh, I did through a happy accident, and I'm not totally disappointed uh, that I saw it. Um, <laughs> I said to myself as I sat there, I was like, if this is not the film I want to see, uh, because they didn't have the, you know, the name of the film up on the, you know, the theater heading, the, you know, the individual room heading, so it's like, just theater eight, you know, so it's like, I'm not sure if I'm walking into the right theater, but if it's not the film I want to see, you know, I'll just, whatever this is going to be, I'll watch it. Um, <laughs> it just turned out to be Les Mis. Uh, and I was like, well, okay. Um, it is epic in scope. I will say that. It, it was impressive. You know, it was very impressive. Um, felt a little long. Uh, you know, it, it drug a little bit here and there. You know, there were times when I was like, okay, I get it. Let's move on. Um, but overall, I'm going to have to give it a 7. I'll give it a 7. I think to give it anything below would be kind of insulting to the film. But to give it anything like an 8, I mean, maybe I could give it an 8. Uh, but, you know, there were, there's just, again, it was long in the tooth. Um, and it was at times wildly directed, uh, Maybe not to an annoying extent, but it's to where you notice it, you know, it's like, you know, just calm down cameraman, you know, you don't need to be doing all of this, uh, but, you know, whatever, it was still a spectacle, you know, it, it was a spectacle. Um, one thing I did, I have no, uh, for, you know, foreknowledge of, of Les Mis. Uh, I've never seen the musical. That's one thing I want to say right off the bat, is I don't feel right calling this a musical. I think it's a straight-up opera, um, where most everything is sung. Uh, there's, you know, someone who counted, but I think it's something like there are only, uh, like, 27 lines of spoken dialogue. And of spoken dialogue, and this is a two and a half hour film. Uh, two and a, yeah, maybe two hours forty five even. I can't even remember. But to have only twenty seven lines, and maybe that number isn't you know too accurate. But everything else, everything else is sung, um, and I did not know that. I was unprepared for that, and I think that that's kind of what impresses me more than anything else. Um, so I was totally unfamiliar with the Broadway show. Uh, I have never read the novel uh, by Victor Hugo. Um, I know it's a classic, but there are many classics that I have not read. Uh, so again, I, I, and I really had no intention of seeing this film. So now I know what Les Mis is, okay? Uh, and really... The one thing that I took most out of it was now I get a Seinfeld reference that I never got. Uh, so now when I watch that episode of Seinfeld, I can uh, laugh even more. Um, <laughs> okay, the film is about... Whew, wow, it's about a lot. Um, it's about the French Revolution... It's uh, a man, a slave, basically running away from the law. Um, not falling in love, but bears, feels responsible for the suffering, the plight of a woman. Uh, swears to her on her deathbed that she will, or that he will uh, take care of the child. You know, that he will raise her as a daughter, uh, her child, uh, which she has suffered for. Um, and all the while, he's on the run from the law. You know, again, he uh, was a slave. He was pardoned uh, somehow, but yet had to remain on parole, runs from the law. 
uh, spends the rest of his life on uh, on the run. Why he never makes it like so far uh, was puzzling to me, but. The film covers a lot of time, you know, perhaps uh, as much as 20 years. Uh, so it is epic in scope. Um, and uh, again, it is it is an epic with art direction. Uh, it, you know, it's just huge, uh, massive uh, sets. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of CGI going on, but, uh, you know, again, we're in the streets of, of, uh, of Paris, um, boy, I can't remember the years. I want to say maybe in the 1600s. I am not good with my European history. I'm not good with any kind of history, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, the, the time of the French Revolution, which the best of my recollection was in the 1600s. Uh, forgive me if I am wrong. Um, The, and the, the art direction, I wanted to finish that thought. The art direction uh, really just takes you there. Everything looks authentic. Everyone's filthy. Um, you know, the style is, I feel, authentic. Uh, again, I, I, I feel that it is represents a true, um, well, it's a true representation of that time. Um, and I think uh, plenty of research has, has gone into that. Uh, Okay, so everything dealing with a epic blockbuster motion picture is is there. Um, it, it looks fantastic, and it does bring you there. Uh, the performances are really kind of what I want to talk about. Um, if it weren't for Daniel Day Lewis uh, being an unstoppable juggernaut uh, this year and any year really. Um, Hugh Jackman in this film was amazing. I was blown away by Hugh Jackman. Um, I was honestly blown away by all the performances. Um, because again, everything is sung. You know, it's, it's an opera. Everything is, is sung. Um, and when a human is singing, uh... You know, I, I, I just, I don't know how it's done. You know, it's, it's, I, I looked at the screen last night, I watched all these performances, and I just sat there wondering, could I do this? You know, is, is this even, you know, could I do this? Is, is this what it's going to take? Uh, and I don't know, I just, again, was left uh, amazed by, by all the performances. You know, when... And the camera, that's what was brave about it and what made me appreciate the performances even more. When people sing, their face contorts. Uh, they have unconscious nervous twitches, nerve twitches in their face. Uh, you know, things happen that almost seem unnatural uh, if, you know, you are not singing. And the camera is right there. It never breaks from the face. It's an unblinking eye. And we watch this person, uh, you know, we watch their face change, you know, just contort uh, to hit these notes. And it's, again, it, it the camera never blinks, you know, it never looks away. And in a way, it's like, well, it's brave, no matter how you look at it. It's a brave and, and a daring choice. Um, all of the actors uh, sung live, you know, right there and then. There's no overdubbing. Well, there may be a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's what they're going with. That's the story they're going with, so I'll choose to believe it. Uh, that all the actors sang right there and then, um, and that is the source recording of their voice. Uh, I... I thought everyone was a was a terrific singer, and it's it's almost like watching something Shakespearean. Like you have to adapt yourself to this way of speaking um, and this way of emoting. Uh, that's that's why I felt so challenged by it, and how I kept going back to me. It was like, can I do this? Is this possible for me? Um, just because I've never even 
tried to do anything like this. Uh, and I was just overall blown away by all the acting. Uh, I think, again, if it weren't for um, the unstoppable Daniel Day-Lewis, I, I think Hugh Jackman, again, I think he was amazing. I've never seen a performance like this from Hugh Jackman. Um, it's the best thing he's done. And I, you know, we kind of say that Hugh Jackman can do, you know, anything. Uh, he can sing, he can dance, he can act, uh, he can be Wolverine, you know. It's just, he's, he's an artist, you know, end of story. Uh, Anne Hathaway, you know, she's got a lot of buzz around her for Oscar. Um, she's in the film so little that, I mean, I get that. Uh, you know, the supporting actress, you know, uh, category. But her role is so small, but it is so powerful that, that okay, I get, you know, all the Oscar buzz. And she was tremendous. Uh, she is tremendous. Um, uh, again, singing all the time. Uh, Russell Crowe, <laughs> again, singing all the time. That was the most... Uh, difficult one to get over or the most difficult one to accept is I've never seen Russell Crowe sing before and here he's singing everything he's saying um, and that's uh, you know different uh, he was good though uh, everyone's everyone was good everyone was good I'm trying to let's see uh, Sasha Baron Cohen um, Borat uh, uh, Helena Bonham Carter all very good um, who else is in there? There's a lot of people I didn't know, certainly a lot of British people. Um, but, you know, again, I was, I was there. All, I, just all the performances just kind of amazed me. It's like, how, how can they do that? You know, how can they do it? And I know that they're spending all day doing that as well. Uh, and so how can they stay so sharp for so long? And, you know, the tone of voice, so pure for so long. Um, it just gave me a lot to think about in terms of filmmaking. Um, so, you know, it was just, I'd never seen a film quite like it, you know? So it was, it was new uh, and challenging. Um, it was directed by Tom Hooper, who also did uh, 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 The King's Speech uh, last year. It was an Oscar favorite. Again, I have no doubt that this will be an Oscar favorite as well, just because, again, Oscar loves epics. Um, Oscar loves things that are different, uh, new, and challenging, uh, which this certainly is. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Oh, one thing I really enjoyed about it, uh, and that is it's in no way, uh, you know, a Hollywood ending. It Well, I guess in a, in a way, but... The film, I guess, the play and and uh, the or the the opera and and the novel is about <sighs> suffering. You know, everyone uh, suffers in the film. There's not much happiness, um, except you know, for singing about love, which they will never have. Um, singing about things that they dream of uh, and that are in no way a part of their reality. Uh, everyone is a dreamer uh, in this film uh, because life is so terrible. And I think that's, uh, you know, important. Um, it's important to pay attention to uh, the suffering that is life. And that you don't go to the theater and watch some cheesy, uh, you know, boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back in the end. Um, here we just see everyone uh, suffer for their way of life and to just wish that it could be different, uh, try and change as much as possible uh, into the face of you know, a system that cannot change. Uh, and it just, in a way, was at times very hopeless. Um, and it makes you sit there in the theater thinking about life, thinking about your life, and uh, at least it did for me, uh, the way you complain 
and bitch and moan and whine about life and here you know we live in the 21st century and life is fucking great fantastically beautiful compared to uh, the life that is portrayed here um, and it's like boy what would we have done you know this 21st century culture if we take our attitudes uh, and and our personalities and we put them in you know whatever 1600s France <laughs> I mean, the world would end I mean we'd kill everything we'd kill ourselves uh, you know it just uh, it just gave me a lot to think about in terms of uh, well suffering and I, I think that that's not something you get a whole lot of when you go to the movie theater you know the movies don't usually make you confront uh, the dark side of life and well I, I think uh, I think it's essential that that it should at some point um, and this film certainly does it you know it, it it is not pretty you know and it does not pull any punches it, it wears no kid gloves uh, it's truth you know which truth uh, which is its most endearing quality um, and again, the performances are amazing. I don't really know what else to say. I think I've covered all my bases. Uh, again, it was a happy accident that I got to see it, and I'm not disappointed that I saw it. Uh, again, maybe a little long in the tooth. Uh, that's why I'm you know, settling on my seven, even though after listening to myself, I think maybe an eight would be appropriate. But again, when I say eight, it's just like something kicks up inside me. Uh, so it's I'll, I'll give it a solid seven you know I it's a solid seven just because it did meander I was just like ah come on you know let's you know let's get to it let's get to it um, and so yeah I, I I don't know what else to say so that's uh, Les Miserables and I give it a solid seven thank you very much